Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel, Learning Videos. So in this video, we are going to see a Python code to find the Maclaurin series expansion of sin x plus cos x up to third degree term. So in the previous video, we had seen the Taylor series expansion. So in this video, we are going to see the Maclaurin series expansion. So now, what is the general formula for it? It is f of x naught. Okay, the function where we'll insert the f, x naught value plus x minus x naught okay, into first differentiation with respect to x plus x minus x naught raised to 2 that is x naught x minus x naught square divided by 2 factorial into double differentiation with respect to x and so on it will continue. So this we need to do for third degree term up to three times we need to do this. So now we need to calculate for sin, uh, sin x plus cos x. So we need to calculate the Maclaurin series for sin x plus cos x. Fine. So now first step what we are doing. First step we are importing num5. So in as np. So num5 is used for to carry out the mathematical operations. Okay. Uh, next we are using matplotlib to plot the graph. And afterwards we are importing simpy. And we are importing each and every module uh, of the simpy, so that is why star. So in simpy, in simpy we can use uh, like differentiation. We can use uh, simplify method of simpy. So next, what we are doing is we are defining our variable y. So y, what does y contains? Y contains sin x plus cos x. So we need to find the Maclaurin series of this sin x plus cos x. So next, I am declaring one more variable called as x naught. I'm declaring one more variable called as x naught, and what is the value of it? Its value is zero. Okay, you can see over here its value is zero. So in Maclaurin series, the value of x naught is zero. So next, what I'm doing? I'm creating a variable called as dy. So what does it contains? It contains the diff means differentiation. Okay, differentiation of y. Y is sin x plus cos x. So I'm differentiating y with respect to x. So that will be stored in dy. So that is our f dash. Okay. So next d2y. So what I'm doing in d2y, I'm differentiating y with respect to x two times. So that is your f double dash. Next d3y. So what I'm doing, I'm differentiating y that is sin x plus cos x with respect to x three times. So that will be stored in d3y. So now I'm using a lambda phi method. So what does this lambda phi method do? So uh, I cannot use, I cannot insert directly the value in this. So the x value I cannot insert directly in this, in the dy, which is differentiation of it. So what I need to do, I need to convert it into a object that is compatible with numpy. You can see over here that is compatible with numpy. So that numpy is used for mathematical operations. So lambda phi will create an object of uh, same phi which is compatible with numpy. So now here what I'm passing, I'm passing the variable that is x. So what is x? x is a symbol and I am passing y. So what is y? y is sin x plus cos x. So now this lambda phi method will create an object of uh, object that is compatible with your numpy to carry out mathematical operations. Next. I am uh, creating a variable called as dy80. Again, I am using lambda phi method and I am passing dy. So what is dy? It is the first time differentiation of our function that is sin x plus cos x. Next, I am creating one more variable called as d2y80. I am using a calling out a lambda phi method. So that met uh, method I am calling out and I am passing d2y. That is your two times differentiation value. Next. I'm creating a variable called as d3y80. I'm lambda phi using lambda phi method. I'm making it compatible and I'm storing it in d3y80. Next, I'm creating one more variable called as y. So you can see over here in y what I'm doing. It is the same expression y80 of 0. So what is y80? y80 is an object that I have created on y. y is our sin x plus cos x. So y80 of x0. So I'll copy this. So that it will be helpful for you. I'll copy this. 
I'll paste over here so that we can go hand in hand. Okay. So now yat of x naught, I'm passing x naught. X naught is, you can see over here, x naught is 0 plus x minus x naught into, that is the first differentiation dy at. You can see over here dy at and the value of x naught plus x minus x naught the whole square that is star star raised to 2 okay whole square divided by 2 factorial that is 2 factorial is 2 into the uh, second differentiation that is d2 y a t of x naught d2 y a t of x naught plus x minus x naught the whole cube divided by 6 factorial okay di sorry divided by 3 factorial that is 6 into d3 y a t of x naught so that value will be calculated and will be stored in y so here on the line number 21 i am printing that okay i am simplifying and i am printing that so at the last what i am uh, doing i am creating one more value called as y at i am using lambda phi method and i am passing my expression that is sin x plus cos x so next i am creating a function over here that is definition of def uh, sorry definition function name is f of x so what I am passing the uh, here, I'm, it is written, this function is returning me the value of sin x plus cos x. You can see np means numpy. So this numpy into sin of x value plus numpy into cos of x value, whatever will be the value that will be returning, this function will be returning. Okay. So now I am creating a variable x. So that x, I am calling out a, fun a method called as line dot np dot line space. So what does this will method will do? This will create the value of different value of x. For example, from minus 10 to 10 for a specific interval. So it will create the values of x. If you want, you can print and check what are the values of x. I'm printing the value of x. So I'll run this. Okay. So you can see over here, these are the different values of x that has started from plus minus 10 and it has ended to plus 10 with all these values. Okay. So this line space will return with the value of it. So I'll comment this out. Okay. So next I'm plotting x. Okay. I'm plotting y, y at of x. So what is y at? Y at is the function sin x plus cos x. So I am passing the value of x. So that uh, that is received from this x. I am passing that and I am print, uh, printing that in terms of red. Okay. And this is my Maclaurin series uh, equation. Next, uh, again, I am plotting f of x. So what does this f of x returning? It is returning me sin x plus cos x values for different values of x. So where from where I am getting that value of x? That is, I am getting from this, from line number 25. So that I'll be plotting in green. Okay. So y limit. So what should be the upper and lower limit of uh, x and uh, sorry y axis? So that will be plotting. So plot dot show will plot the results. So let me run this. Okay. You can see over here. So this in green, sin x plus cos x. That we have plotted and this is my y a t of x which has been plotted over here and plus 10 to minus 10 means it is the range in which it will plot okay i hope you have understood this uh, python code uh, to create uh, mclaurin series expansion so if you have any doubts regarding this or any previous video you can comment in the comment section and if you like the content please guys press the like button and please do hit the subscribe button if you are new to this channel. Okay. So till then, bye guys. Have a good day.